from the Scripps Studios, this is 10 News. Hello, I'm Jim Patton with this 10 News update. Three people rescued from Sunset Cliffs last night. The rescue is coming as neighbors have been raising concerns over large crowds there. The first rescue happened yesterday evening when a woman fell from a cliff to the sand at Ladera Park. Lifeguards say she was breathing as she was taken to the hospital. And the second rescue happened a few hours later near the area called No Surf Beach. Lifeguards rescued two men from Los Angeles who got caught in a current and they were also taken to a hospital. Council member was pushing for Sunset Cliffs to close, but so far no action has been taken on that front. Governor Newsom has laid out guidelines for restaurants to allow dine-in services again. It requires a number of criteria, including limits on deaths and standards in testing, which have not yet been met. When the uh, restaurants will have a lot of requirements, including temperature checks, open windows and doors, disposable menus and no shared condiments. Tables must also allow for six feet of distancing. Now, the Oceanside gym owner who was arrested for reopening his business early is rallying today. Lou Uridel is hosting the rally outside his Metroflex gym to push for small businesses to reopen. Uridel reopened his gym last Friday and was cited on Sunday after refusing to close. City Councilman Christopher Rodriguez has been encouraging all businesses to defy closure orders and open their doors. While Oceanside Mayor Peter Weiss disagrees and has been urging the public to follow health orders. Let's get a check on our weather now. Megan, how are we doing today? Well, we're going to see clearing skies as we head into the afternoon. Temperatures topping off in the mid 60s to low 70s along our coast, low to mid 70s inland. 50s for one last day in the mountains, 80s for one last day in the deserts because warmer weather is going to be moving in as we head into the rest of the week and the weekend. A bit breezy in the mountain and desert areas today, though not as windy as yesterday. Could see occasional gusts up to about 30, maybe 40 miles per hour. And then we're going to see 70s for almost the entire county by Saturday. Jim. Megan, thank you very much. And for the latest news, weather and traffic, go to 10news.com or download our free 10 News app in your app store. For 10 News, I'm Jim Patton.